Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. Keller Williams is uh, putting a twist on the color run this fall. Jennifer is here to tell us all about it. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. How are you? Good. Good, and I, I love that we match. <laughs> totally not on purpose. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. So tell us a little bit about the color run this year. So the color run is a 5K run, which is 3.1 miles. Mm -hmm. It's a run or a walk, and it's for any Rockford participant that would like to participate. Cool. And at various points of the course, uh, Participants are going to be doused in a non-toxic colored powder. Fun. Oh, so it's powder? Yes. Okay, so it's not like wet. No. That's good. Because yes. you might slip. Right. Nope. Cool. It's just a powder and it, it does wash off easy at home. So That sounds really fun. So it's like, we can see from some of these photos, you probably want to wear white if you uh, want to participate in the color run and then at the end of the race, you end up being like a rainbow. Exactly. How cool is that? So this is happening September 18th at Mississippi Park, um, but you guys are putting a twist on it. It's not just about running. It's not just about getting colorful. Tell us about the twist this year. So our twist this year is uh, it's all about community involvement. So I'm a former military spouse, so community mm -hmm. is very important to me. And our goal is to get Rockford to come together as a community to kind of go down and uh, accomplish one cool. particular goal. Uh, and our goal is just to empower leaders and that will be good community members. Sure. Mm -hmm. So why did you decide to be part of the Color Runner to create this version of the Color Run this year? I'm a runner, so mm -hmm. I love to run, <laughs> um, but I was looking at it through a fundraising lens. And so we're our goal is to raise funds for a scholarship fund uh, that will go towards paying for initial education costs mm -hmm. for people that want to go into the real estate industry. So tell me a little more about this scholarship. When did you guys start it and is it just having to do with the color run or is it outside of the color run too? Tell me about it. Sure, so the scholarship fund actually is brand new. Okay. That's a new thing that we're cool. doing and the color run is the first thing that we'll use to raise funds for it. Um, and it's just a application that people will fill out who would like to get into the real estate industry. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be an essay and an application and a board will review that and decide and uh, award the recipients. Cool, so what qualifications would you need to apply for this scholarship? Is there anything you need to do or anything that needs to be done beforehand? There's not really any specifics. Obviously, they, there are certain requirements to embark on education in sure. real estate, so those requirements will need to be met, but it's very individual for each different. So I'm guessing if you're, you probably have to be over 18. Yes. But you could probably be any age, because isn't that kind of what you guys are working on? Any age over 18 to right. kind of bring diversity Absolutely. into the real estate industry? Absolutely, yep. So this could be an opportunity for someone who's been working in a different industry for 5, 10, 15 years and realize, well, I want to try this, but I don't know how to get started, and this might be a way to do that. Absolutely. Very cool. So why, you know, what did you think when you were putting this all together? Like, what was the main reason why you were like, this is it, this is perfect? Uh, I think just the community involvement. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So if we want to be part of the color run, anybody can be part of it, right? Yes. Okay, so we got to sign up. Do you know how much it costs? It costs $20 for okay. adults cool. and then anybody 14 and under is $10. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even really think about how much fun this is going to be for kids. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Uh, again, it is Saturday, September 18th at 9.30 a.m. Do we have to uh, register? prior to Saturday the 18th? Yes. Okay, that's important to know. That is, and you can register at kwcolorrun.raceroster.com. kwcolorrun.raceroster.com. Um, the night before okay, or is there a deadline for registering? The night before is fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you just may not get a shirt. <laughs> okay, good Good thing to know. And of course you wanna wear, is it a white shirt? Is it what it you is wanna wear a the white day shirt, of? Okay. And you can wear any shirt that you want, but we will be providing. Cool. Awesome. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all of this excitement. Um, we can't wait to see your pictures. I'm sure you're going to be a part of it, right? Are you going to run? I am okay, with my six-year-old. So. How fast is your fastest 5K? Uh, well, you know? with my six-year-old, it's not going to be very fast. <laughs> That's the way to do it, right? Yes. You're like, wow. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to the team behind Therapy Clean and see how their stainless steel cleaner tackles fingerprints. And then we'll tell you everything you need to know about this year's Bites of Bullet. We'll be back in just a minute.